station, albeit a little bit socially distanced, but thank you for being here at KPIX 5. Thank you, Juliet and Alan. Nice to be with you. Thank you. However distanced. Yes, yes. exactly. Let's start uh, with what's on everyone's minds right now, the situation in Af Afghanistan, and certainly after witnessing the confusion and the chaos, um, the big question right now, should the Biden administration have had a stronger U.S. military presence for the transition? Well, first may I just say that I commend the president for the action that he took. It was strong, it was decisive, and it was the right thing to do. We should have been out of Afghanistan a while back. Uh, but now we are, unfortunately, uh, one of the possibilities was that it would be a dis uh, in disarray as it is. But that has to be corrected. And it is my understanding from the assurances we have received uh, that the um, military will be there negotiating with the Taliban for the safe exit of American citizens and friends, people who have helped us, our allies there. And, and people work in the nonprofit sector, but also not just U.S. NGOs, but those who have worked in Afghan uh, uh, NGOs as well who would be targets. And those people, those folks were all crucial to our effort there. But the U.S. withdrawal uh, left tens of billions of dollars worth of U.S. military equipment in the hands of the Taliban. There were helicopters, guns, ammunition. How much has that raised the threat of future terrorist attacks, this well-armed Taliban? Well, I do believe that the president's decision was based on one that reduced uh, the prospect of any attack on our homeland. And the president has made it very clear to the Taliban any assault on any American entity or person would be met uh, forcefully.